Pancake, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about a small but legendary airplane. What do you think the most popular and best-selling airplane in aviation history is? The Airbus A350? Or maybe the Boeing 747? Neither of those. It's actually the Cessna 172. From 1956 to 2020, more than 44,000 of these planes were built. You'll also have a hard time finding a pilot working in the industry today who hasn't logged a significant number of hours within the cockpit of a Cessna 172. But what's so special about this small aircraft? In today's video, we're gonna find out. So sit back and relax, and enjoy listening to some unusual facts about this type of plane, and about the Cessna's contribution to aviation history. Why has the Cessna 172 become a favorite among flight schools all around the world? First of all, it's a durable, strong, and predictable aircraft with reliable avionics. Second, it has a great load capacity. Third, it has a good rate of climb compared to other light trainer aircraft. Fourth, it's inexpensive to use and is incredibly reliable. This aircraft is simple to fly thanks to its aerodynamic design, harmonious control, and smooth manner of flying. Additionally, the design of the plane with its high wing and rounded back window ensures that the pilot has a clear view of the surroundings. The low landing speed provided by the excellent flaps makes landing this plane fairly simple. How did the most popular airplane get its start? The Cessna 172 is a single-engine monoplane with a high wing and an all-metal body. It was conceived as a flying car, and has become a legend and classic in the world of civil aviation, as well as a flying classroom. This American four-seater aircraft produced by the Cessna Aircraft Company completed its first flight on the 12th of June, 1955. It was an instant success. And by 1956, after one full year in production, more than 1,400 planes had been constructed. Since then, it's been in continuous production, with the exception of a break from 1986 to 1996, when stricter laws in the United States prevented all light aircraft from being produced. But in 1992, the Cessna Aircraft Company joined Textron Aviation. The Cessna 172 was developed from the 1948 Cessna 170. The story goes that Cessna engineers faced fierce resistance from the marketing department when they suggested building an aircraft with tricycle landing gear instead of a tailwheel. In the end, the engineers won, and the Cessna 172 with its tricycle landing gear went into production. In addition to this, the aircraft's construction was made more durable. Duralumin was used instead of a fabric covering pulled over the primary structure. The resulting aircraft turned out to be so simple to control that the Cessna sales department used the term Landomatic in their ad campaign. The original Cessna 172 was equipped with a 145 horsepower Continental O300 horizontally opposed six cylinder piston engine. Later, other engines were installed. The current model of the 172S, presented in 1998, is equipped with a modernized 180 horsepower Lycoming IO360 L2A four cylinder direct drive horizontally opposed air cooled engine with fuel injection, ensuring a maximum cruising speed of 230 kilometers an hour and maximum distance of 1,185 kilometers. Starting with the 2012 model, there have been several decent upgrades. The Garmin GTS 800 TAS with ADS B support provides directional audio alerts about movement. For example, movement 1 hour altitude 2 miles, and automatically turns on landing lights when the target of movement is approaching. Ten years on, the 2022 model of the Cessna 172S now has a Garmin G1000 NXi, integrated flight deck with ADS-B input and output, as well as a wireless database and flight plan download, angle of attack indicator, and a Garmin GI275 electronic backup device. Interesting facts about the 172. What other interesting and unusual things can we discover about the Cessna 172? Number one, this little guy holds the world record for the longest flight. Setting this record on December 4th, 1958 were pilots John Cook and Robert Tim on the new Cessna 172. They took off from McCarran Airport in Las Vegas. The pilot's main goal was to beat the world record for the longest non-stop flight from 1949 when a similar class of aircraft with a crew of two spent 46 days in the air. The mission proved to be difficult, but the pilots were able to set a new record. They remained in the air for 64 days, 22 hours, 19 minutes, and 5 seconds. Finally, on February 4th, 1959, they landed at McCarran Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. The record still stands to this day. 
and is proof of the Cessna 172 Skyhawk's reliability and efficiency. Number 2. This is the lightest sport aircraft with a wide model range. The base model of the 172 appeared in November 1955 as a 1956 model and remained in production until it was replaced with the 172A model in early 1960. It was equipped with a 145 horsepower or 108 kilowatt Continental O300 air-cooled six-cylinder engine and had a maximum total weight of only 2,200 pounds. Only 20 variations of the Cessna 172 were released, plus a number of special versions. Obviously, over its long lifespan, the Cessna 172 has undergone a number of modifications, modernizations, and improvements, but it remains true to its original durable design. 3. All 172 Skyhawks have wings on the upper part of the fuselage. This is one of the reasons why the aircraft is so easy for student pilots to fly, since the wings are located on the roof and not on the fuselage. This feature is not only good because it gives you some covering when getting off the plane in the rain, but also for the static transverse stability of the aircraft. This means that the airplane is very stable when flying. 4. In 1960, the basic model of the Cessna 172 Skyhawk cost $8,956. Today, the modern Cessna 172 Skyhawk costs between $100,000 and $300,000. It couldn't get better than that. 5. The Cessna 172 works with the latest avionics. The current Cessna 172 Skyhawk, modified by Textron Aviation, is equipped with the latest technology, integrated into Garmin G1000 NXI onboard avionics. The new modified airplane from Textron Avionics offers the following features. Standard ADS-B input and output, an additional wireless database and landing on the aircraft, integrated maps across the VFR, IFR high and low charts in night mode, COM frequency decoding, selectable visual approaches, additional ground patrol for safety assurance on the runway, improved graphics and faster processing, improved joystick and smoother panning, simplified maintenance. 6. You can fly up to 6 hours without refueling. With fully loaded fuel tanks, the Cessna 172 Skyhawk can fly up to 5 or 6 hours in good weather conditions. At a speed of 110 knots or 200 kilometers an hour, this is equivalent to a trip from Stockholm to Amsterdam without stopping to fill up, if conditions are ideal. 7. American filmmakers film the Cessna 172 more than any other light aircraft. 8. This is James Bond's favorite plane. 9. Not all Cessna 172s were built in America. Although famous as an American aircraft, you might be surprised to find out that 1,436 Cessna 172 planes were built in France. From 1965 to 1971, the company Rhymes Cessna built the Cessna 172F. The lever-operated flaps on this model were replaced with electronic ones. It was also the basis for the primary trainer aircraft of the U.S. Air Force, the T-41 Mescalero. So if you want to start a career in aviation or dream of getting your pilot's license, then the Cessna 172 is a perfect fit. I hope today we covered enough about why this aircraft has become the most popular airplane in the world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll keep giving you more exciting videos to enjoy. See you in the next video. Pancake, everyone.